It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder. Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today is a Friday and I've decided to start this vlog today because I might be doing some stuff over the weekend um, with my sister. She's coming over to visit me. Well, she's back in Durban, which is very exciting. Um, she used to live here and she left like a year and a half ago. She went back home and now she's back. She got a job and she's back in Durban. That's why you guys actually don't know her. But if you've been following me for a very, very long time, you would know her because she is in one of my vlogs. But yeah, so she is going to be coming over for this weekend and we'll try create some content for you guys. We'll do some stuff. We'll do some catching up and then we'll see. But today... What I want to do is just clean up my place, make it a bit, you know, hospi hospitable, hospitable, hospitable. I want to make my place look decent. <laughs> that's what matters. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Also, I just want to tell you guys about my skin. And I also want to show you guys a little bit of some stuff that I just recently bought. I've got so many stuff that I've recently bought. But I've worn and put in my wardrobe like I don't even know anymore. But the stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys is stuff that's still in like the paper bags, which I just like got like two, three days ago. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. So my skin, you guys can see. And then you guys can see like this is my good side. This side and my forehead is progressing so well, guys. But this side is just... I had a serious, serious breakout like a month or two ago, I think in around Feb, I had a serious breakout um, and I was so worried and I was so stressed and it was a lot of things. This is why my face looks like this. As you guys remember when I spoke about my skin, I did say that I do have hormonal acne. So anything that's like an imbalance in my hormones will cause a serious breakout on my face and as much as we are trying to control it with medication um but yeah i had a massive breakout hence why i look like this on this side of my face but it's a, a setback for me but we have to continue have to keep pushing that's what my doctor told me that skin is a progressive thing so you can't really expect results just like that and yeah so what I'm going to do right now is I just want to cover up a bit because I'm not even going to come up here and lie to you guys. I do feel very self-conscious about the marks because my skin was doing so well and then it just on me. So I am very, very self-conscious and I might do a sit down when I show you guys some of the things that I just recently got and I just don't want to be feeling uncomfortable. That's the honest truth. That is me being honest so i'm going to do a quick time lapse of me just doing the quickest makeup i've ever done <laughs> and then i'll go that side show you guys some of the stuff that i have and then i will see what i do i might also just step out we'll see where this day takes us guys so yeah where are you, where are you? Where are you? don't hide away from me when I need you most, we got love guaranteed, and I have to know. Say, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't be so hard to reach. Just pick up your phone. Tell me where you be, cause I gotta know. Let me know when you're ready. Cause I made reservations Too many invitations And the last night was heavy, heavy. I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date 
now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay Okay guys, so I'm done. I just put a little bit of makeup, nothing hectic, nothing major. I was just covering up here and there and then I just decided to do my brows as well. So, and then I just put on this wig that is from Eunice Hair. Lately, I've just been loving wearing, I've just been loving wearing it as a headband. Um, wig, it just makes my life so easy and so convenient, honestly um so yeah i want to show you guys one of the other rooms in my house like the mess that it's in and the reason why it looks like that don't judge guys is because um i wanted to film something which is actually on my instagram like if you're not following me on instagram guys you need to follow me on instagram um and it's got great lighting so i just had to move everything around so i need to put things back in its place as well as yeah I'll show you that little stuff that i have um that i got recently so yeah guys let's go so guys this is the condition of this room i literally just flipped the bed over because i needed this all of the space to film got some of my printers over here those are the things that I want to show you guys. And then that's my washing basket. That pink box there was PR. Some nice goodies from Unilever. Um, this room is a mess. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly show you guys these things. I sound like a lot. But it's the things that were just there. And I decided let me just show you guys. Um, and I'm going to do that. Pack up this room. And then I'm also going to step out because I did get a message that I've got a parcel at Postnet that I need to fetch. If it's something that I can share with you guys, I'll come back and show you guys. And then, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm going to start with this small pack from Zara. I don't want this to make a noise. <laughs> so I just got this a small perfume. I've already opened it so this is the wonder rose i actually used to own one of these way back um in the bigger version and i loved them um this was before i could afford like expensive expensive like cologne and when i saw it at zara oh gosh i was like it reminded me you know how scents just take you back um to a particular time and remind you of certain things so i decided to get in the small version i love these zara's small um scents because they fit so nicely like these small perfumes they fit so nice in my handbag and they're very good just to refresh and this was 159 so the small ones are 159 there's this one that i also bought that i can't find in store now and i spoke about that on my instagram that i can't seem to find it anymore which i also like so that's what i got at zara and then what else do i want to show you guys let me show let me finish with zara so this is one purchase that was so hard to make because i was undecided oh god i was undecided um between the two that i wanted basically and i eventually settled for this one again on my instagram i ran a poll and then most of you guys had decided for the other one but i ended up taking the one that was least voted for for many reasons um yeah this is a jacket so this is what this jacket looks like if you guys can't see this jacket this jacket is so nice guys you can't see it properly on camera so this is what it looks like I think I should do it winter haul of some sort. I don't know. So this is what the jacket actually looks like. It is from Zara. So there was a lighter shade of this one. And I then opted for the bit darker shade. Because I felt like the lighter shade honestly did not look 
like how much it's worth <laughs> and this jacket was not cheap to be honest so i wanted something that made a statement and this jacket was haunting me i came in i saw it once and then we walked out of the store we went somewhere else and then i was like this jacket i need this jacket i need this jacket so the jacket was 2 2k basically and these come off like the hat comes off this comes off i cannot wait to rock this honestly in winter so yeah guys that was from zara and then let me show you this from h&m so from h&m i got this jersey which looks like this so i got it in a size small but it's oversized it's one of those oversized jerseys and yeah i was kind of happy with the fact that it's oversized this was 329 and i loved the color i'm so obsessed with wearing neutrals lately so <laughs> um you'll find me in whites grays blacks and nudes browns you know that type of color so this was 329 i'm slowly trying to get winter clothes Derwin does not get that cold so i don't get a lot of winter clothes and i hardly even wear those clothes but i'm just buying a few bits and pieces that i will wear if it does get cold if i'm hot and how think is hot think does get cold a lot so that's that and then i just got a whole lot of underwear guys do you guys know how hard it is to buy underwear it's one of those things that we need but we always overlook and bras are expensive guys bras are expensive bras do not pay bras are expensive so of good quality bras are expensive so um got a lot of underwear i'm not going to show you the specific with the underwears so when it comes to bras woolies bras guys are your friend they're not the cutest but they're the most comfortable bras so i buy most of my bras at woolies and then i wanted to give h&m a try um with their bras but I, one thing i realized about h&m is that they don't have like big cup sizes and for the longest time i thought i was a cup d but i've realized that i'm i don't know if my boobs are growing i don't know but it seems like i'm a cup double d to e now um so i realized that with h&m they don't have like big cup sizes which was a bit disappointing but i managed to get only one bra at woolworths which is this bra so i really this is so soft guys this is good quality this sits snug it's i love this bra this was 410 rands basically 409 410 rands nudes i i don't buy colorful underwear that's just me with underwear i don't buy colorful underwear it's very very rare that you'll find me with colorful underwear and So yeah, so you'll find me in your nudes, your blacks, and your whites in most cases. And then I also got like some underwears also from Woolworths. And then the other underwears is from, the other bras are from um, H&M. So this is it's almost similar to the, the Woolies one. And this was 250 and then i also got a black one this was also 250 so it looks like that and then i got a whole load of undies i got like 12 or 10 underwears also went to edgar's i was just shopping around for a lot of underwears i just wanted to you know bulk up so a lot of just underwears guys i'm a g-string girl so most cases you'll find me in a, a g-string <laughs> so that was that so like i said i was giving h&m a try but i don't think i'll buy underwears from h&m again i buy some of my underwears from bras and things but you guys know that bras and things is super expensive like a bra is 6.99 it's 700 grand so it's where i splurge basically where i spoil myself and it's more lingerie intimacy but i needed like a lot of you know basic underwears comfortable underwears and bras and things underwears let's be honest they're not extremely comfortable they just look nice but they're not your every everyday bra they like 
your intimate everyday bra if okay and then just two last things that i want to show you guys is this <coughs> excuse me from zara this is actually quite old now maybe two months old so this was actually bought for me for my birthday is it's this bag everybody has this bag you guys should know about this bag everybody and their mother and their sister have this bag so it's one of those cross body bags i've wanted this for a while so the friend that got me this bag when i asked them sorry when they asked me what i wanted i just said this was one of the options i gave them options of the things that i wanted and this was one of the options of the things that i wanted so i'm in love hardly ever use it or hard, i have hardly used it and it's very very cute guys small um you can dress it up you can dress it down so it's been sitting in the box um for a while and then that's why i decided to show you guys and then it is this hat this hat is from Woolworths. This was 379. This was actually influenced by Usine Kukulet. You guys should check out her channel. Um, she's also a YouTuber and a content creator. So I saw this hat from her and then I decided to get it. Like I said, obsessed with neutrals. But also, I just have been wanting a bag like uh, I've just been wanting a hat like this for a very very long time so yeah guys these are the things that are like recent like yesterday type of recent purchases and then yeah so i'm gonna clean up pack up this room go out get my parcel and then i'll see if i end the vlog today or i end it when my sister arrives or you know so i've tried to pack stuff in this room and just make it look a bit neater and um made the bed and all of that put everything in its rightful place this is the stuff that i showed you guys um in the first part of this vlog i haven't gotten around to packing it properly in its rightful places but i will <laughs> i was just so tired and yeah i haven't started um decorating this room like at all um hence why it just looks so plain so you know so dull if you ask me i just wanted to finish with the guest bathroom first and then i'll get into it that is probably gonna go let me let me not even get into <laughs> deco related stuff but yeah so fun. it's neater to be quite honest so i just went to pick and pay there's honestly nothing to see in the shopping bags it's just some detergents in here at woolies i went and got some bread and some fruits and some other stuff also passed by spa i specifically wanted um the bacon and then also just some banana from woolies so this is the parcel that i went to collect at postman's i'm not gonna flip that over because you guys are gonna see my cell phone number but yeah i've already seen that the parcel is from un's hair that approached me um to let me open it for you guys although i'm just gonna do like another video for it so they had approached me basically to try out their hair um but that's gonna be another separate video um i just want to see the hair right now okay guys so an update um to just finalizing my bathroom i eventually got these um soap canisters from zara because i wasn't hurting recently so i just decided to go in store and just get those canisters so this is how they look like which i'm very very happy about just to give you guys a closer look so what i did do because <laughs> these canisters look exactly the same is i did label each of them like underneath to say soap and lotion because there is soap and lotion especially for my guests i know that the lotion is the side and the soap is the side but for my guests and it might get moved around <laughs> like a lot so i've just labeled it um i will have to find another way to actually label it because they might come off eventually 
um, the labels. But for now, that's that. Um, I also got a soap dish. Let me show you. So I also got this soap dish to just to put, oh, English, just to put this on my bathtub because my bathtub has, um, it has like, it's those modern type of bathtubs that are like not on the wall. So let me actually show you guys what I mean. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I then got the soap dish which matches perfectly. Also got it at Zara. This is about so this was 179 rands, was quite reasonable to be quite honest. And the dis soap dispense, not the soap, yeah, the dispensers were 299 rands each, so it's 300 rands for one. So I just want to show you guys my box tab and the situation with it and the reason why I basically had to get the soap dish. Also, I'm not sure if I should put these dispensers um, like this or on one side. I ran a poll on my Instagram <laughs> on which way, but a lot of people are saying I should have it sitting like that, I guess. Okay guys, so this is my bath tub. So I want to show you guys like what I meant when I said um, so there's this this is the whole tub and then there's the space in between the wall and the tub and this is the soap dish that we initially had put here and obviously if somebody is taking a bath and they put the soap here the water may drip and then it may drip um, to the floor which is in the corner. So it just wasn't making any practical sense basically and initially i had bought this soap dish in the interim actually that's because i didn't know that zora had like a soap dish so now i'm just gonna put this soap dish here and then it just makes more sense and looks so cute Okay guys, so she's finally here after a long await. <laughs> so <laughs> and I told okay. you guys yesterday she was gonna arrive late, so it was pointless for me to actually I hope I'm in frame. It was hope it was pointless for me to actually vlog because we arrived like around seven and stuff like that so and then this morning she went to do her hair so it just got back home um now so if you guys are following me we have been following me for a very very long time like in Sago 1k you guys would know but if now my subscribers have grown like a lot so i think it's fair for her to introduce herself Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she's my sister. Let me explain because I feel like in the first part of this vlog, I said it's my sister and haven't seen her in a long time. And then people are like, "How is your sister?" sister? And she, people are yeah. always like, "How many? How many are you guys doing my mom?" Yeah, yeah. So I feel like I need to explain so that it makes sense. That's why how this person hasn't seen her sister in a very long time. That's weird. Yeah. So she's my dad's. Oh, dad's a brother. Yeah. Our oh, dads are brothers. Yeah, dads are brothers. We are cousins. Yeah, we are cousins. Sisters got the guys. This is Uluje. Cousin is your sister, especially somebody from your dad's side yeah. of the family. So that's but it's also, I think it's also the kind of relationship that we have. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we have a super close relationship. Yeah. You swear that we like siblings, siblings, siblings. But so, yeah, it's even weird when you have to explain to people who say, "Oh no, we mean our <laughs> dads are brothers." Yeah. yeah. So. We are just waiting for our food and then we're just waiting for our food and then we're gonna get ready, we wanna go out for supper and drinks. I haven't okay, I hope my family's not <laughs> I haven't had alcohol in, in seventeen months. <laughs> Literally like in seventeen months. So right. <laughs> Yeah. So we might just yeah, not that we might actually are gonna go out and have some drinks. We just don't know where we're going, so we're gonna talk to you guys um, when we're ready, we're dolled up and look nice, basically. 
guys this is literally the morning after yesterday we ended up going out and we just literally forgot to continue with <laughs> the vlog but i'll just insert some pictures of us um right now on the screen for you guys to see um that we took just before we left because we didn't vlog ourselves um when we were dressed and we were looking very nice but yeah last night was lit it was hectic i don't even want to show myself that's how hectic last night was but now we're just gonna get ready um take a bath a shower and then clean up a bit and then just step out to go have some lunch Hi guys, so it is a few days later um, from the weekend. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday and I know I didn't vlog a lot with my sister <laughs> because we were just all over the place. We were up and down, we were having a ball. We were catching up and a lot of things. So um, I couldn't really vlog much but i just wanted to add more content to this vlog so i just um came back from the shops and i just want to show you guys some of the things that i got and then i also want to show you guys that wig that i received um and what i think about the wig and etc etc so the one thing that i'm most excited about it's these flowers i have seen a lot of content creators um how do content creators with these flowers and they'd say they get them at woolies but i've looked at almost all the woolies here that i go to both in hillcrest and like in durban i never used to find them until i found them in that if you guys remember the vlog where i had eucalyptus that same small um shop that florist shop flower shop basically and i had to order it because apparently it runs out like a lot and this stuff is expensive guys this small bunch is like 200 rands but anyway i really really wanted them so i'm going to show you guys once i've put that in the vase then i also just went to pick and pay so i went there because i wanted to try out um the hack to keep your white sheets white because i use a lot of my bedding is basically white and i saw the hack from lk homes lk homes page um so most of the things that she got i saw that she got them at pick and pay so it's this soda it's some detergent for like white clothes it's like a lot of ingredients <laughs> bicarbonate of soda and some vinegar i think so i ended up getting some stuff as well that i needed and then i just also went to woolies also went to pick and pay home not pick and pay home pick and pay clothing just to get myself these cute shoes socks indoor shoe socks because guys it gets so cold here in hillcrest it gets crazy cold i don't understand how the weather is just so completely different from durban and we're not even that far so i'm trying my best to get anything and everything i'm also getting a gas heater because i'm not playing guys i'm not playing it gets very very cold so i got these very cute uh shoes right there so i just also got this um sports bra if you want to call it just to wear indoors um when i don't want to wear a bra i know a lot of people don't wear bras when they're indoors but i'm always in a bra guys because i've got big titties and i just feel like they're all over the place <laughs> when i'm not wearing a bra so whether i'm home or not i'm just always in a bra so i just wanted to try out these sport bras and if um i like them and they're comfortable i'm gonna get a few just to wear inside the house so 
nothing much so it's just adding on some stuff that i basically need. okay guys so i'm now seated down so that i can just show you the hair that i received that was sponsored to me so the brand is a very infamous brand like i said <laughs> infamous for it's like the elephant in the room basically but i will talk about that when i actually do a proper review of the hair because i do want to wear the hair i want to experience the hair i want to you know go through a lot with the hair before i can actually do an actual review so i'm not really doing a review right now i just want to show you guys the hair that i received and then the review will come later and then i'll talk about all the things that i have heard and i think about the hair basically so this is the brand i'm sure you guys know about this brand it's ewins hair so it came in this box and in the box came two wig caps one of which i'm wearing and then this bag which is like little accessories that you may need for the hair and then the hair came in this bag they also gave me this this is like a clip on fringe um if you want to create a fringe so what i'm going to do right now because i am stepping out i'm actually going to wear the hair um quickly so i just want to put some gel on my hair just just to push it back a little bit okay so i've put gel around the perimeter of my head and i'm just gonna do that okay so this is the actual hair so the hair is a bob and it has got a it's called a tea lace um, i'm not gonna get into detail a lot with this hair right now because like i said i will review the hair much much later but i have worn it twice already so hence why it's got like the powder there so it's a tea lace and it's just an easy on and off type of wig basically so what i am going to do is i'm gonna take the hair to usindi um to actually cut the hair for me because it's a very very weird length for me it's like you know when a skirt is like below your knees but also not like at your ankles <laughs> and i feel like it's going to keep bending like a lot here so i want it to be an actual bob or i would have preferred it to be like a bit longer so i don't like the length so i am gonna take it in um to just get it fixed because i don't like this length the hair is good quality here though from the look of things off the bat the only thing that i did not like was the way that they cut it it was just it wasn't a perfect cut and i just felt like our oh, guys couldn't you at least you know the cut was very like uneven and you know okay guys so i did what i can with this hair because i am kind of like in a hurry i need to step out like i said and i will have a proper proper review of this hair and i will get it cut to suit my needs like like i said um so what i'm one of the things that i'm going to do when i step out is go look for my gas heater like i said i need a gas heater and i saw some online builders warehouse game and macro it was much cheaper at builders warehouse um and we have a builders warehouse like close by so i'm gonna go check that out 
and then yeah if i find my heater i'll come back and show you guys later if i don't i think i'll end the vlog here i know this vlog has been all over the place guys i'm so sorry i am so sorry and one last thing the top that i'm wearing is from my clothing line or well, will be part of the um the garments that will be um that will be releasing with my clothing line so this will be part of the autumn winter collection it's this very nice long sleeve top that you can actually wear alone if it's not too cold and i am actually getting part from it already or you can like layer it with other stuff but i'll tell you guys about that <laughs> some other time this is just me making mention of it and guys save your coins so that you can support your girl as soon as um production is done i will let you guys know so yeah let me step out now and then i'll see you guys later if i find my heater if not also on a photo to zara i don't know <laughs> okay guys later <laughs> okay guys so i am back from the shops and i found my heater so this is the one that i decided to go with i honestly don't know the brands when it comes to heaters but i decided to go for this one because it was on sale <laughs> it was going for a thousand rand and the most annoying thing about these things is the fact that <laughs> you buy the heater but you still need to buy the actual gas so so as i was saying i'm going to go look for the gas now they did sell the gas at builders but i was advised not to really buy the gas itself rather rent it out because if i do buy the gas and i want to get it refilled again they might exchange it for another one unless i wait i'm specific and i say i want this my specific gas back which means i'd have to wait for a few days to get it back so it is tricky so i'm still undecided but i think for now i'm gonna try to rent it out and see and if it's like a tedious exercise or whatever i'm just gonna buy it honestly because it's 500 rand full and yeah guys so i'm gonna go try look for that i had to come back in the house because i had a delivery and i'm stepping out again if i find it and everything um i will share that with you guys and yeah guys if i <laughs> if i end the vlog here um thank you so much for watching thank you so much for thank you so much for subscribing thank you thank you thank you thank you guys bye